It's a Cadillac. I, I don't know how else to say it. Hey, Kyle here at Four Performance today talking about staccato. So I've got on me my staccato C2 DPO. So the 2011 platform, obviously it's a 1911 style chambered in nine millimeter. It has become super popular and probably Caught the last four to five years in the industry. First off, how I got hooked up with Staccato, very interesting. Staccato, of course, formerly STI. I originally got a call from a unit I had trained because Staccato was supplying them with, that was their new handgun. So I trained that unit in the past and they asked me, hey, do you know about the Staccato 2011? That's what we're going to. Make sure you're good with it because you come in and train us. So the guys at that unit actually recommended to Staccato that, you know, hey, you guys should should maybe hook him up with a gun or whatever. So they were like, yeah, you know, whatever, I guess. And then I started talking to the guys at Staccato and it ends up that the guy at Staccato who had gone to the unit I had trained also would have had been in the military with a guy who had, I had, who had worked for me for years. So small world by far. And that's how I ended up getting in with those guys. So I got my first uh, pistol an iron sighted C2, absolutely loved it. Things that out of the gate that I'm super impressed with. Dave Dawson does a lot of work with Staccato. Of course, he's a former champion uh, pistol shooter and he's a machinist and he is an absolute wizard when it comes to some of this stuff. So the way that the sights are in relation to the slide, how he mounts the sights just on the iron sighted guns, pure genius. A couple of other things he does, of course, you've got a a match barrel with a slide and a frame that's all kind of quote unquote matched together. Probably the most impressive thing to me, especially, you know, 2021, we're kind of, you know, we're in the red dot revolution now. The way that they have done the red dot plate. So uh, the C2 DPO dual plate optic, it sits so low in here that it's really, there's not a lot of training time as far as like, it being different from your irons, the dot's really close to where your irons are on some of the guns, especially using an optic like I've got here. So what they've done is the, there's a plate that this optic sits on and the iron sight's actually attached to that plate. So literally, if I wanted to switch red dots, I just take this entire plate on, off, put a new plate on that holds whatever, name the optic. Could be a Leopold Delta Point, could be an Aim Point Acro, could be whatever you, you can come up with. So it's really genius how they've made this and how they've made it interchangeable with one slide. So no matter what optic you or your unit shoots, you get, you tell them what it is, they make the plate for it. The iron, the rear iron sight and the front iron sight that comes with it is already zeroed, point of aim, point of impact. So you don't have to worry about any suppressor height sights or any weirdness like that. So I'm super impressed with that. The other thing of course is just the fit and finish of the gun. You've got that, that classic 1911 style, single action only. Of course, we've got a grip safety back here and we've got a mechanical safety, uh, thumb safety there. I'm pretty standard on sub 10 second, uh, 90 pluses at 25 yards from the draw. Everything about the pistol that you can think of, I mean, the magwell is smart. The way they've, they've made the, the magwell stock, the trigger between three and a half and four and a half pounds bone stock. Everything about it is just, it's superb. I uh, absolutely love it. It's made in Texas by Americans, 100% American made. And most of the stuff that Staccato is doing, apparel wise, support wise, all made in the USA. So huge fan, go check out the C2. It'll probably, it's my favorite gun. It's Glock 19 size-ish. I think if you check one of these out, it, it could be the last pistol you buy because it is, is absolutely stellar.